already installed in the left index and the another at the right index so like room dividers are extremely at the left and right they are already installed and for each positions between the indices i minus 1 and i at most one divider can be installed which means if you can just see the diagram for each positions i can install at most one divider i cannot install two dividers here dividers here cool uh, now we what we have to do is we have to divide the corridor into non overlapping sections as you can see that i can just have this as one division which means this is one section and this is one section so these are non overlapping sections so basically we have to just place the dividers now what is the condition to place the dividers where each section has exactly two seats and that is a prime condition for this question you will see that the each divider has exactly two seats each divider has exactly two seats i am not concerned about the plants at all i am only and only concerned about the seats only and only concerned about the seats so you will just have to let me know if there are multiple ways to perform the division uh, a two ways can be different if they have a different a pattern of division right we have to learn the number of ways to divide the corridor and again make sure that each section has exactly two seats i'm not, I'm not saying at least i'm not saying two i'm saying exactly two cool so you will see in this question uh, we have four seats and for sure it also says if there is no way then return a zero now we will go on to example but usually how we go about a problem is we will first figure out why and how can be just no ways then we can just actually start working on the number of ways so firstly if you just look at the example itself it just says that i can have divisions three like i can have three patterns uh, one i can place here one i can place here and one i can place here itself now rn why not more why not i can place here because if you just start placing your other partition here or block here so what might happen is that you will end up having just one seat in total you can for sure see that i have just four seats so i will have to make sure that two seats come on one side and two seats on another side so okay one thing while speaking this itself we can get to know is that for sure we want two two seats so in total the number of seats should be for sure even because if i have let's say five seats so there can be no possible division at all so one way is one thing is that if the seat is odd if seat count is odd then so it's not possible okay uh, let's see with this example now i have just two seats so for sure my division pattern like placing a bar itself starts after when we have got at least two seats so as you can see above here also i went on and i tried to place my first bar let's say if your task is to place a bar itself you went on and tried to place your first bar but you can place your first bar after you have encountered two seats you will place your second bar after you have encountered four seats and so on and so forth so whenever i have placed two seats i'll encounter a bar and i can place here itself uh what if rn uh let's say we encounter four seats but yeah it was already a bar at the end so we cannot just keep on placing bars at the end itself that is an idea which we are getting how we can actually solve by looking at the example itself here we have just two seats so for sure we might place a bar here but you will see that i will end up happening no seats in a section which means you will see that it has just one plant and no seats which is not correct so for sure it is the only combination or the only section which will have uh, for us so that's a one pattern now you will see that i have just one seats earlier also we saw that uh, if we have the seats as odd count so for sure it's implic it's not possible to have a partition so its count is odd so that's the reason i just simply re return a zero now is it the only case then when you will return a zero i will say that okay what if i have no seats at all then for sure again you will not be able to partition anything because there is no way to return right so in that case also i can just simply return a simple zero if if i say my count is actually zero so ultimately simply return a zero itself now if the count of seats is actually zero so simply returns here because there is no possible way to actually bifurcate them now we have got the way that uh, 
answer is zero but still the problem was to find the count of the ways so one thing from the above example we can get to know is that if i have a bifurcation of seats here and a bifurcation of seats here it is kind of i'm placing some bars in between of them that is what i'm doing i'm placing some bars in between of them now when placing the bars uh, you might think of a problem where you have some children's and like that is a problem we have seen also but yeah let's think of a problem that we have some children and we have to divide them into groups so what we might do we might end up placing some bars in between of them now let's say this is the one pattern which you have thought of by intuition but no worries if you have even not thought of that now other thing is that okay if i have some chairs light here let's say a seat here and then 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 other some other seats here also seat here and seat here so for sure one way is that i can place a bar here still i will have two here and again for two i will end up placing a bar maybe here now what if aryan uh, i place a bar here itself again th this bar will work so you will see that a group of two seats will i need to make them together a group of two seats i need to make them together a group of two seats, I, I need to make them together in the remaining places i am always flexible to place the bar i can always place the bar here i can always place the bar here 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 i can always place and for sure in the end bar will always be there which is this and this so you will see that you are and you end up happening that you can place the bars here 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 and here so that can be a big clue for you to figure out that now my only now my only th the task which i had to do was just to place the bars and i saw that i can just easily i just have to make thing one i just have to make one thing sure that i just have to make a group of two for sure exactly two i should come so remaining place i can always place the bar so i can end up placing my bars here i can end up placing my bars here now Again, the task was to find the number of phase. Other number of phase 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Other number of phase 8. No. Why no? Let's see. So, ultimately, so far we have seen that if we have some chairs, we for sure want to group them into two. So, we'll end up placing a bar here. Now, if we had two chairs, let's say here and here, still, uh, the place we can place a bar is here and here. So, one plant will end, like, will help me create two bars. So, I can just easily say that, that let's say my index is, my this index is i, and this is i plus one, this is i plus two. So, for sure, I can actually have two bars between this again when i said this it is second chair it is a third chair i can always place bar between the second and third chair between the fourth and the fifth chair between the sixth and the seventh chair i can place bar between them between them remember this fact it's obvious because we want a group of two that's the first condition for us and then placing the bar is a second condition so Right now we can just see, okay, if I have the indexes of the third chair and the second chair, I can just subtract the indexes. Uh, with this, I can just get to know that how many number of bars I can place between them. As simple as that. Because you will see I plus two I and I can have two bars, which means one plant and it can produce me two bars. I have two plants, it can produce me three bars. Again, the same fact, I, I plus 1, I plus 2, I plus 3, you will see I plus 3 minus I is actually 3. Just saying, okay, I have 3 bars or basically 2 plants in between them. Now, that was the one thing which we have seen, but still the question was, uh, bhaiya, if we have these bars, okay, now we got to know that we can place some bars between the two chairs which we have and we can just always make sure that we are, we are all, always taking bars between the two chairs which like between the two groups which means i'll make sure i will have uh, first second or let's say it is zero one two three or let's say the count of the chair itself the count of chair is one two the count of chair is three four the, the count is five six so i always make sure to actually place in between the third and the second chair the fifth and the fourth chair always place the bar between them not never take the chairs or the counts between the second and the first chair that will make sure that will i'm taking always from the odd to even from the odd to even count 
that is i will make sure but still the task was if even i got to know the number of bars but still what is the number of way, ways for me so if you have known the simple combinatorics or the simple uh, which we do a uh, combinations so there if there are two, if there are two ways to go from a to b you can see yellow and green and if there are three ways to go from b to c which is red purple and blue so what are the number of total number of ways to go from a to c it is six ways 2 into 3 how is 6 bhaiya it is yellow to yellow to yellow to red yellow to purple yellow to blue green to red green to purple green to blue six ways there how we got the six ways if you have the six ways that from a to b we had two ways from b to c we had three ways and i have to go i have to take a path i have to have to me and i have to take a path so it is six ways now in the same condition I have to partition it. I have to partition it because now R and Y have to, can't we just leave the partition? No, I have to choose one partition. Why? Because if I will not, then it will make a partition of four. I don't want, I want exactly two as a partition. So for sure, I will have to take it, which means I will have these three options. I will have to take it. I will have these one, two, three, four, five options. I will have to take it. So in total, the number of ways, will actually become 15 for us so that will be our answer that if if we go back and we'll say okay if i have two partitions and again make sure that you only are taking partition between third and second fifth and fourth and so on and so forth which means from odd count to the previous even count chair remember that and when i say chair you are maintaining their indexes to just get to know how many number of plants are between them or just to know that how many number of bars will be in between them uh but what about the first will we take the zero also no we will have a simple if condition that whensoever our count is more than two which means count of seat is more than two more than two only then start taking this pair which means odd which means count is odd to the previous count which is actually for sure will be even and then you, we will have the last index last index which will be this of chair and this is the current index which i will be on with this indexing i will get to know the number of bar, bars between them or ultimately just you can just get to know the number of chairs which also is i minus last index minus one is the number of chairs and this is the number of bars between them so i will get to know the number of bars between them but i will only calculate this when i know that my count when my count mod two is actually one which means when the count is odd but that can also be considered for one itself which we don't want so i also have a condition that when my count of seats is actually more than two only then have a condition that you start counting a number of bars now when you have your bars you will know with this indexing range that how many number of bars are in this range now keep on multiplying that so here you saw we had two bars here you saw we had three bars so answer will be six now how six uh, simple as that one bar here 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 uh, one bar here one bar here one bar here one bar here and one bar here one bar here so you will see these are just six combinations ultimately you saw that how we will do it we will find the indexing if we are at the current index and you will see we are just iterating on the entire array just once so the time is o of n and we're not using any extra space we are just iterating and using these count variable and the last index variable so space is just o of one again this can be solved using db also which is a very high overkill for this problem because it is very well visible that it is a a simple combination problem that just place the bars and just simply have a multiplication of them why to just convert see if you want to achieve the same thing from dp you will have to do it from the first from the top down then from the bottom up and then improvise the bottom up which is actually a lot of overkill if we can just solve it very simply in just five six lines of code ultimately a bit recap that we will we will be at these indexes we will be only considering the chairs when i encounter a chair i'll increase the count of that specific chair i will have that i encounter a chair i'll increase the count when i encounter any odd count chair so i will do i will meant i'll always maintain keep on maintaining the last index of the chair so last index will give me the last index of the last chair if i am at the odd count chair i am which means i am at the current index which is i 
I subtract the last index to get the number of bars between them and I will have a variable called as answer which is the final answer and I'll keep on multiplying that I'll keep on multiplying that count which means I minus last index is the count of bars multiplying that in my answer itself here you will see uh, i is here uh, count will be five last index will be something so i will have i minus last index I, whatsoever I, whatsoever will be the count i'll keep on multiplying with my answer and ultimately i'll get my answer make sure to have a module in between also that is one thing you will have to make sure uh, when you are doing this operation just one thing also that you will just not to use the count of count as one just not to use this count as one so make sure that you are always starting off when the count is more than two which means when the count starts from three itself then only start counting and checking the number of number of bars which can be placed because i cannot try and place bars here because if i start placing bars here i will end up encountering zero chairs which i don't want i want chairs starting which means i want exactly two chairs Cheers for sure so i have to start my count from three itself and for sure always have from odd to actually last value which means whenever your count is odd then only you take take that bars count so yeah ultimately the count the time and space will be o of n and o of one let's quickly code this up um that would not be hard so as we know that we can have a big number so uh, we we will have to have a modulo but we will just for safety we will have a long long end now we, we need to also have a mod with us so what we will do is we will have one two three four five six seven eight nine now when we have this we know that our answer will actually be one uh, we need to have the count of seats right count of seats and uh, now initially it is zero and also let's have the n uh, which is corridor dot size uh, now i'll just simply iterate on my entire corridor right and at every point i'll just have a quick check that if this current thing is a plant so no worries because my task is when i'm on a chair i'll just check the last index so yeah uh, let's also maintain the last index just keeping off the last index of the chair which i have got now if the current thing which means if the current is a chair is a plant simply ignore it uh, which means you can just simply continue it's of no use to you but now if it is a chair now firstly uh, you will just make sure that you will increase the count of seats uh, by one because if this is a current seat right so for sure increase the count by one now if this count of seats is actually more than two or you can say more than equal to three because you wanted the count of seats to be three only then start counting your bars now and also we just saw that uh, the count of seats mod two is equals to one because we, we want from the third seat to the second seat we want uh, the actual number of bars we can place so uh, i'll just say the bars uh, we can place are actually nothing but the current index i uh, minus the last index which we have it is the number of bars we can we can place and i'll simply say that uh, my answer i can simply multiply with the number of bars i can place uh, which is this uh, bars which i've calculated above and i'll simply do a mod at every step now when this part is done make sure to actually place in your last index so i'll just say my last index um, is actually i because for sure you know that my i is being used like my last index is being used now ultimately return the answer itself uh, let's quickly see if you have not done any mistakes uh, if we have done okay so ultimately you saw that we have some base cases that firstly make sure that if the count of seats is a zero or if the count of seats uh mod two if it's actually one which means uh if there are no seats at all or if there are seats but they are odd in number so simply return a zero itself else return the answer itself so we will have this condition let's quickly submit in this world and it should work cool uh, the space and time is actually o the, the the time is o of n space is o of one because we are not using any extra space at all and this thing is simply solve this again you can solve this with dp but then you have to go very overkill and it's not at all intuitive also it's the only reason i choose this way rather than the dp way again thank you so much for watching bye bye